Hi everyone, it's Annette here and I'm going to show you today how you can edit your own photos. So if you've taken some photos of your designs and you've got a model wearing it, how you can actually transfer um, those photos into Photoshop and transform the whole look and feel um, of the outfit and actually get the real wow factor. So first of all, you can actually download a free copy of Adobe Photoshop from um, the internet. So if you just go to Google and type in Adobe Photoshop, uh, fourth, fifth one down, free trial. And you can just download it straight there. And it's uh, for Windows XP. Um, you can also download it for a Mac as well. So you just go uh, Google Photoshop. Um, for the Mac. Okay, so we'll go into Photoshop now and we'll open. So you go File, Open, and then you select the image that you want to edit. So I downloaded a few pictures um, earlier today. So the first one. Okay, so um, if this is your line, there's several things that you could actually do to improve this photo to really give it a wow factor. So I'll just go through the menu um, bar and the different things you can do and then you can have a play around with your own image. So first of all, um, if you go to image, so go file, across from file is image, and then you'll see adjustments. So on the right hand side you'll see brightness and contrast. That brings up this little toolbar here. Let me just close this down. And you can make it brighter and more contrast. So see straight away we're sort of um, getting rid of the detail in the background. We're making the, the um, actual model a little bit more prominent. Press OK there. Then you can go image adjustments, vibrance. This is like how vibrant the photo is. Uh, and saturating is saturating with colour, but because this image is in black and white, we can't really do that. Alright, so then we can go, um, if you had a colour image, you can then select black and white and make it black and white. Photo filter is a really great one too. You can actually put like a colour filter over your image. So if you want to get a, um, a bit of a vintage feel, you could put a warming filter over it. And there's lots of different warming filters. And then the density can make it quite dark. So of making it a little bit more of a sepia uh, image go to white go file adjustments again um, there's things like uh, shadows and highlights with the shadows highlights so we're getting the detail back in the background or you can wash it out, whatever you'd like to do there. Then what you can do is if you want to actually um, change the colouring of the photo, you can go image, colour balance. That brings up this balance bar where you can actually make the photo a little bit more blue. Um, that's probably like a 1980s kind of hardcore blue sort of overtone in the blacks. You can make it a little bit more warm, which is a little bit more vintage. Um, put the purples in, the pink or the green. Put some warmth and yellow in. Press OK. Now another really great thing I love is Image Adjustments Selective Colour. 
This actually lets you select different colors in the image and just change that color. So if you went to black, we can change all the blacks and make the blacks, for example, add more magenta to the blacks or uh, the opposite to magenta. Or we could make uh, more uh, cyan or yellow into the blacks. Same with the whites. See now I've just added some yellow into the white and really giving it that vintage feel. You could add pink. So we're kind of making a little bit of a pop art, um, I guess, scene now. You could go as far as going like that. Neutrals. see the slight change there. And press OK. Now another really great thing is um, in the top toolbar filter, if you go to render, then lighting effects, we can actually put a spotlight on this model. One or two, we can actually we can change the intensity. So you see the image now, I'm going to click OK and you can see, see how it's just sort of add a brighter spotlight. If you don't like anything that you've just done, what you can do is go um, Command or Control Z and it, un it undoes the last move that you've done. Now what you then can do is if you want to add your label or logo, um, into this, you can actually write with the, the right or the left hand toolbar. The T is for text. So we'll just make this smaller. So you can write your label name and choose the font. So I've just written Glamour Designs. And you can resize it. And up the top here, it's saying the font, Century Gothic. So you can change it to anything that you like. I'll just reduce the, the size. So let's go down to 24 down again, maybe to 10. You can also change the colour, so it's in pink. We might actually want to do maybe a, a black or even like a maroony colour. change the font to something a little bit nicer. So we've got Glamour Designs and then we can move it to sit just under our hand and if we want to make it larger we can just use the side. See how I scroll the mouse over and it'll just adjust the size.
there we go. And um, another really light, cool lighting effect um, that I like is if you go to filter. Yeah. So on the right hand side, another thing I should mention to you is every time you put a text or a photo, it automatically creates a new layer. So Photoshop works in layers. So we've got the background image here and then we've got the text as a separate layer called Glamour Designs. So um, we want to go back to the background and then we select filter, render, and this time we're going to go for lens flare. A lens flare brightness. And see how we've just created like a little lens flicker? And it's a little bit of like sparkle happening in the photo now. If we wanted to, we could then um, darken the edges of this photo. So how we would do that is we go to filter, render, lighting effects. You can just adjust it, so it's just doing it around the corners. Okay, so this is the current image and now we're about to click OK. And see how we've just made the corners just a little bit darker and it's kind of made Flamer Design stand out a little bit more. Um, so now if you wanted to pop out a few more colours um, and just add a little bit more pop, you'd go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. You can lift that brightness up a little bit, make it a little bit more contrasting. Um, we could also go Image, Adjustments to Vibrance. Increase the vibrance a little bit more and the saturation saturates the colour. So see how it's making it more red the further I go in. Just pull it back a little bit. Or we can take the colour out altogether and make it more black and white like that. I don't mind it with a bit of colour. So there you go. Now if you want to save the image, you go File. And then save as um, and you don't want to save it as a Photoshop or you may like to save it as a Photoshop and then export it as a JPEG. You can actually select JPEG um, and then you just call it whatever you want to call it there and press save and then it'll ask you how big. So 12 is the maximum and it tells you how big the file size is there. So it's 363 um, K. Okay, and that's done.